So if you get a medication that requires reconstitution, that could be something like HCG or Ibamorlin or Sermorlin. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to reconstitute it back to your static water to make it an active injectable drug. So you get your package here. So I got my bacteria static water and I've got my dry powder medication which needs to be reconstituted. So you need to do an item check. Last one is large or syringe used to withdraw and displace the bacteria static water to the dry powder medication. So first and foremost, I'm going to pop this off and you'll see this plunger area. That's where the syringe, the needle will go into to withdraw. And with your medication, same thing. Pop the top, then it goes smoothly at all. Okay, and once again, it has a rubber area stopper where you will push the syringe through. So what I do next is, I know they're sterile, but I still clean them. So I apply pressure and just spin. I'm gonna do that to both of them. Do a nice little scrub. Next thing we wanna do, remove the syringe needle out of the package. Now you should look at the instructions on the on the bottle you got this one says to reconstitute with five milliliters of bacteriostatic water so I'm doing five milliliters so what I'm going to do is I'm going to withdraw this down to roughly about the five milliliter mark and I'm going to inject that air into my bacteriostatic water vial reason being it's going to help me create a vacuum so when I try to withdraw the bacteriostatic water out it's going to make it so much easier. If you don't inject air into it, it takes forever to actually withdraw the medication. So you got this. Press it down. Punch that air in there. Now flip it over. And voila. It fills up so easily, so nicely. I'm just going to let it ride it out to roughly right around where it stops. And right now it's at the four and a half mark. So now I can just finagle it down, pull back, push up, pull back, push up. Oop. And let me check it. I'm at the, right at the five mark. Make sure no air. Boom. Easy. Now I'm going to take my dry powder medication, punch that in there. And I'm going to push it in. You will get some resistance. It will try to go against you. That's totally normal. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to keep my finger on this plunger as I remove it. Otherwise, it's going to try to see it's trying to push air back up. So keep your finger there and pull it out. Go ahead and cap the needle. Give it some twirls. And then you'll store it in the refrigerator until you're ready to use it. And that's how you reconstitute medication. Thank you.